Hello everyone. Today I wanted to share with you a simple method for reducing the chances you experience a filament jam and improving the overall extrusion quality of your 3D printer. So what we're actually talking about today is called nozzle seasoning. And what this is, is using essentially any cooking oil to treat the metal of the nozzle in your hot end. What this does is kind of impregnates the outer layers of the metal with some lubricant and it reduces the internal friction that filament experiences as it's being extruded through your nozzle. So as you can see, we don't really need much to do this. Uh, you can use essentially any cooking oil. Uh, extra virgin olive oil is one of the most readily available. But some oils have a higher smoke point, which is actually the temperature at which they will start to smoke. And avocado oil is one of the highest smoke point cooking oils that's, that's readily available. And even the grocery store in the small town I lived in happened to have uh, some of this in stock. And it's not very expensive. I think both of these bottles was quite a bit under $10. Uh, so it's, it's a very small investment to make. And we'll be using uh, such small amounts of this that if, if this is all you're going to use it for, this will last you the rest of your natural life. Uh, the only other things we're going to need are some paper towels for cleanup and same with the alcohol. This is just going to be used to clean up when we're finished. So the first step in this process will be to remove or loosen any kind of idler or filament tensioner that you have leading into your hot end assembly. This will allow us to manually extrude the filament. The next step will be to remove any filament that you currently have loaded in the machine. We're going to do this with a technique I like to call the warm extraction method. I've also heard this referred to as the atomic method. What we're going to do is start with the machine cold. We're going to set it to preheat for the relevant temperature for whatever filament you have loaded. And then we're going to gently pull on the filament as the machine heats up. What this will do is allow us to remove the filament as soon as it's soft enough to release its grip on the inside of the hot end. And the idea is that we're going to remove the filament before it actually kind of liquefies in the hot end and starts sticking to the metal. We're then going to cut ourselves an 8 to 10 inch piece of filament. We're then going to take that filament and dip approximately 1 centimeter of the end into our oil. We'll then remove it and touch the tip to a piece of paper towel to remove any excess. We'll then carefully take our dipped filament, insert it into our hot end assembly, and manually extrude 6 to 8 inches, leaving ourselves a little bit to grip at the end. We'll then allow our machines to cool, and then remove the filament using the method we already discussed. So the number of times you need to repeat this process is, is kind of subjective. Uh, personally, I've, I only do it two to three times. That seems more than sufficient. And once you've completed this, you're going to want to wipe your machine down with alcohol and remove any kind of oil residue that you happen to get on anything. Then once everything's cleaned up and your machine is reassembled, we're going to want to extrude at least 12 to 18 inches of filament to remove as much of that excess oil as we possibly can from the hot end before we resume normal printing. Okay, so some quick tips that I've learned from personal experience using this procedure. Uh, if you do choose to do this, make sure you don't get any oil on your machine. When you're coating your filament and removing any excess oil, make sure you do that off to the side and you're not actually doing that over top your machine because any drips can, can cause some relatively serious problems depending on where they happen to go. Uh, particularly with your build surface, even the smallest amount of oil there can have a dramatic negative impact on your bed adhesion. So I would recommend at least laying down some paper towels on your build surface. Uh, ideally, take a few sheets of white copy paper and lay those down there. So if you do happen to get a drip, which you, you really shouldn't be doing because all that excess oil should be removed off to the side before you manually extrude that filament. Uh, but even that initial filament you're extruding after you coat it, uh, it can have a moderate amount of oil residue. So laying down some paper will prevent it from actually contacting the build surface and save you a lot of hassle and clean up later. So if you enjoyed this video or found any of the information useful, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more like it. Also, if you have any personal experience with this or any tips or advice that you'd like to share in the comment section, uh, feel free. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank all those who are supporting me on Patreon. And if you'd like to see more videos like this and allow me to devote more time to this channel, uh, consider becoming a patron. It really does help out. 
So hopefully that will help some of you prevent filament jams and get a slightly more consistent extrusion out of your hot end. Thanks to everyone for taking some time to check out this video, check out my channel, and spend some time with me in the wonderful world of 3D printing.